tell you what, menopause is mm, challenging sometimes. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to film this bit because I've tried to film quite a few times and then when I was ready to film, I came over all hot and bothered. So I thought, oh, do you know what? Carry on. Carry on. Let people see the real you. So hello, everyone. This is Dion here from Kimami Mosaics. So I create African inspired mosaics um, and I run workshops and I love being on YouTube right now. It's just a thing for me right now. So it's been a while since I've been, I've made a video like this, so who knows what's going to come out of my mouth. But what I wanted to talk to you about was not being um, afraid of not selling your work at exhibitions and not feeling dis disheartened. So recently, and I'm going to fan a little bit as I get hot, so just bear with me on that one. So recently, um, I took part in a three-day exhibition. Really a lovely exhibition. I've never took part in it before. Um, and I created pieces for it. Um, and yeah, shared a stall. Venue was nice. The energy was nice. People were nice and everything. And I thought, yeah, this is going to be a really good, good fit for me. Um, but I soon realised it wasn't quite like that. And uh, I actually ended up with just one sale. Let me tell you, it was just one. Mosaic sale, that is. I did sell some greeting cards, but the actual mosaics, one. Now, this has happened before for me, so I wasn't too disheartened. I guess I was just a little bit, um, but I thought to myself, look, Dion, you've been here before. Uh, people have not bought from you on the day, but they've come back to you like maybe months, weeks or years later. So I just took it as that, that people loved your work. Um, they loved to touch and see what was going on. They commented, beautiful comments and stuff like that. Um, and sometimes people do come back to you, which is very true. So I wanted to reach out to those of you who think that when they go to an event that no one likes their work, it's not that at all. It um, could be a couple of things. It's, it's that they didn't have the budget right then, they didn't come for that particular item. Um, they actually didn't like your work. <laughs> it could be that. Uh, but yeah it sometimes it takes a while for people to to trust you to actually make up their mind that, and make a decision as to what they want so i wanted to just put it out there for you guys you creative beautiful beings out there who are new to this um don't be disheartened don't be discouraged keep on going keep 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 going that's all i can say I've been at this game for quite a number of years now. Um, and I, let me tell you a story. So the very first time I exhibited was in South London. I'm from Bedfordshire. Um, so I went to South London and I had probably about half a dozen mosaics. And back then, this was probably around the 2000, early 2000s, between 2003 and 2010, around that time. And so I know that my mosaics weren't looking too good around that time, I can tell you. Maybe they were look okay, but not to the standard, obviously not to the standard they are now. So I remember rocking up with about half a dozen mosaics and I had my really shabby tablecloth, a couple of stands, not all the stands matched. I don't even know if I had any business cards. I probably did, but I can't remember. Um, and... I had a really small stand in the corner and it was just like, okay, I'm here. No marketing skills, nothing. Um, so people were walking around and they were buying other people's things I could see in the distance. And they came around to mine and it was like, hmm, interesting. Oh, that's nice. Hmm, that's different. And some people just kind of just like, kept on walking didn't even bat me an eyelid. I I took it to heart back then, I did take it to heart. And that day, 
um, I packed up all my six or seven items, I can't remember, and felt really down about it and thought, people don't like mosaics, do they? They really don't. And, I, and at that time, I'm sure that my prices were really ridiculously low as well. Um, and I just thought, no, maybe this isn't, I should be doing this, you know? And then anyway, so I was packing all my stuff away and it got to probably be the last couple of mosaics. And this person came up to me and she said, oh, I hear you do mosaics. And I'm like, yeah. She said, can I, can I have a look and see what you've got? I was like, okay. So I got out a few pieces and I, had, I remember this longish piece that I had there, which one of my favorites of this kind of like dancing lady. She was in this kind of uh, swirly pose, kind of like, I don't know, anyway. So she saw that one and she said, I'll have that one, please. And I was like, what? She said, yep, I'll have that one. How much is it? I told her the price, probably ridiculous, cheap price. Yep, I'll have that. And I bought that and it, and she bought it and I just felt, oh my God, someone likes my work. Someone actually likes my work. And that sort of really, it cheered me up. It gave me a boost of confidence. And it was like, I'm ready. I'm ready to do the next one. And I'm going to learn from this experience and go on to the next one. So, um, yeah, it's just sometimes we doubt our skills. We doubt our validity. Um, we just think maybe it's not good enough. And we compare each compare, compare ourselves to other people. Um, but sometimes it's just not the right moment. It's just not the right moment for that particular time. And you just have to allow it, allow the the universe to, um, to just take you in their arms or its arms and just give you a little gentle hug and say, yeah, it's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right. You just keep going. So this is a message for you guys out there who are, thinking, oh my gosh, no one's going to buy my work. No one likes my work. I've been to this exhibition, that exhibition, and it's the same old, same old. Hang on in there, all right? You just hang on in there. Believe in yourself. Believe in your work um, because you just don't know what people are going through. You don't know when they're going to come back to you. You have no clue. So um, I just thought I'd share that with you guys. Um, and that's kind of it really for me. I'm glad that my, um, my, my hot flush has gone down. I feel so much cooler now. <laughs> uh, so that's what happens when you're over 50 or approaching 50 or you're pre-menopausal, post-menopausal, in the menopause, whatever. This is what happens sometimes, not to everyone, but this is what happens to me. Anyway, um, I digress. So I hope you liked the video. Please, uh, comment, like subscribe if you haven't already and uh, have a look at my other videos as well there's some videos on my mosaic process um, in this on this channel I'd love to just share with you some more ins and outs of my process about me as well um, and how I go through life you know um, what I do with my life So throughout this channel, I really want to share a little bit of insight into who is Dion and what does she like doing? Who does she hang out with? What does she like eating? <laughs> um, so over the, hopefully over the months, I will share a little bit of that with you. All right, I'm going to go now because I need to go and finish packing. I'm going to be, by the time you probably see this video, I'll probably be on a plane or I will be where I am, the destination, I would have reached my destination. So um, I'm going to jump off now. But yeah, I hope you like this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.